that was such a good run. I really felt that. Did you? You know what I feel like? A dirty chai latte. <laughs> um, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Um. So it's definitely obvious that some people sweat more than others. Your friend might get through a workout with only a light perspiration, whereas you look like you've come from a swim. You might ask yourself, why is this happening? And if I sweat a lot more than other people, is that a bad thing? So today we're gonna to be answering those questions. And just before we get into the video, just quickly, I'm Maddie, I write Mads from Lab. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more, or you can visit my blog. I'll put a link in the description box below. So I think first up, we have to talk about why we actually sweat. So sweating is the release of water and other compounds like electrolytes from sweat glands spread all over your skin. Sweating helps to keep your core body temperature low when you're doing something that raises it, like exercise or if you're in a warm environment. So without sweating, our bodies would literally cook from the inside. There are several factors that influence how much someone sweats. Uh, the first of these is gender. So generally males sweat more than females. There's also age. So generally younger adults tend to sweat more than older adults. There's also body mass. So people with a larger body mass have more tissue that they actually need to cool down. So they need to sweat more. And then there's also genetics. So there are genetic factors that we don't yet understand which influence how many sweat glands we have and how functional they are. But the final factor is really interesting and something that I wanted to talk about and it's your fitness level. A lot of people think that if you sweat more during exercise, it means that you're really unfit, but it's actually the other way around. A range of studies have found that fitter people tend to start sweating more quickly during exercise and sweat more profusely than their not so fit counterparts. That's because when you start training and get more used to exercise, your sweat glands actually get bigger. They also get better at responding to signals from the nervous system that tell them to release sweat and they become more efficient at releasing sweat into the skin. So that, it sounds gross, but it actually means that your body is better able to cool itself down and cope with exercise. So next time you're looking terrible, soaking wet at the gym, and you feel like everyone's judging you, don't sweat it. <laughs> 